sinister childhood playgrounds. Sitting in the back of a huge Cadillac, suffocating between black leather seats. Grandma and Grandpa fed me McDonald's. Pap ridiculed the way I ate my hamburger and fries. Fast food joint, American family hotspot. Car ride to and from our townhouse at child's favorite Ronald McDonald. 15 minutes felt like 15 hours. Time tormented me as I dreaded my known destiny. Home sweet home, in the secure arms of my loving grandfather. He tucked me into his perverted sheets. My grandmother, late sleeping in another room. Did she know his hands were caressing me, instead of her? I will never know, as he raped my soul. My mother once asked me, when she saw my frown, has anyone ever touched you? I shook my head in silence. How do I ever explain such insanity? All I wanted was to be in the back of that Cadillac, choking on his words that ridiculed my favorite way to eat hamburgers and fries. Other kids ate at McDonald's, I saw them there. But I never saw them kissing their daddy's dad. My internal friend starved herself, so I would forget my hymen was stolen while I was counting lines on his dirty wallpaper. The only protection I had was myself. I now live under my own shield. When I feel harm coming, I wrap myself up in safe linens I have ironed myself. Visiting family-friendly restaurants, not my style. Hamburgers and fries I eat with forks. I prefer dining in joints not catering to unhappy children. I shielded my inner child from clowns and from men who have tried to feed upon my pure and loving heart. But I have never stopped embracing the angel that sacrificed herself for me.